Hi everyone, I'm Awak. I'm Gamma Dev. And welcome back to the Let's Play video blogcast thing. And we're venturing into... Uh, <laughs> oh boy. The 3DO pack-in. The 3DO pack-in. That pack wasn't. That wasn't really. Um, <laughs> until later. <laughs> until later. Jurassic Park Interactive. Uh, famed in song and story. <laughs> yes. Um, I, now, when you suggested uh, doing this, uh, actually, when we, we, we made a comment about this in the last video, um, and we're probably we may have to fade out uh, the intro because uh, YouTube's um, uh, content ID nonsense will probably flag the music because it's you know super super iconic uh, John Williams. Um, I don't know. I think straight background music they don't have a problem with so much as anything that has lyrics and vocals to it. It's sort of I, like, you know I mean, because it's probably more like I think I think ASCAP there's an, there's an appropriate yeah. uh, <laughs> is really uh, really anal line, yeah. about uh, you know mm -hmm. vocals and words. <laughs> yeah, but um, when you suggested doing this, I I was thinking about uh, all sorts of things came to mind about uh, uh, and I realized there's just no way I can think about this game objectively because this game was being made at the same time we were doing Monster Manor and so you can imagine so we are doing our little thing over here which is you know this little cheesy whatever and Greg Gorsiski and and so on are doing Jurassic Park Interactive with the blessing of Steven Spielberg and Universal and so on, and then they then we find out we'll get into this later. They find out they had like trouble with oh well, you don't actually have all the stuff that you're going to need for this. Welcome to Jurassic Park Interactive. Oh yes, this extremely Park, long, located on an island off the coast of wordy intro. Well, couldn't do this on a cartridge, so we're gonna yeah. <laughs> Although actually, you could do this on a cartridge, just, <laughs> just this little slideshow thing. With yes, the, load the next ping, please. Next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, with the transition effects architecture or whatever, it's like you know, oh, just page flip, page flip. But no, this is this is video. I'm sure that somebody spent forever in. No, oh, yeah. After Effects or whatever. No, Mickey. After Effects didn't exist. That was um, Adobe Premiere, which ran on the Mac. Dinosaurs like the vicious and intelligent Velociraptor. Yeah, but yeah, this is just like a, a straight video coming off the uh, off the desk. Of course, the most ferocious of all, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, is the voice in there? That's not the same guy who does like the voiceover and the little interactive CD-ROM thing that's in the movie Jurassic Park. It's not like I Richard Kiley or what his name? What's his name? I, oh, here we go. Here, here are the uh, cut rate uh, <laughs> substitute actors. <laughs> well, yeah, you couldn't get the actors' likenesses. That's a, that's one of those things where you find out quickly is mm -hmm. that. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll notice that a lot of these people are the same person, just made up differently. Uh, I think I think Les is in here, isn't he? As as both Hammond and Nedry. Uh, it could be Hammond. I don't know. Oh, about and that's Nedry. one of uh, one of those is uh, Maynard's kid. I oh, believe, really? I believe <laughs> Dave Maynard's kid. Okay. Yes, his name is in the credits because I had to ask him about that because he now works at. Uh, I've worked as him. I think he works at EA now. Uh, ah. As a programmer, is all right. Oh, okay. Well, both of those kids have, have worked at That's one great. point or another at EA, and then have moved on to. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, one works. I think one was now working on League of Legends or something like that. But, uh, so basically, yes, they're getting all the B-roll footage from from Jurassic Park. Right. So. Yeah, you're not seeing. Yeah, you're not seeing any of the. Actors. Nothing with actors, basically. Right. You can get like uh, stand. -in, you can get the like the stand-ins that they shot. You know, second unit that. You know, didn't feature the real actors, mm -hmm. or just like you know, random, random extras. Because you have to then pay the actors for their likeness. You not, you have to pay extras for their likeness if you use them in anything. Mm. We found that out in many things where it's just like you can't. Uh, if they're in any way recognizable, you have to pay them basically mm, for their okay. image. So it's like stuff like this, they could probably get away with not paying the people who are actually driving those Jeeps since they're just a few pixels and they're not yeah, recognizable. Yeah, but, not recognizable. You know, even if it's Joe Random Nobody who's an extra, you still would have to pay him if you mm -hmm. get the camera pan past him and you could identify his headshot. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the path and rescues of the guests and workers are up to you. Yeah. This always struck me as a weird part of the movie. It says, yeah, we're putting you in an actual truck on rails and we're just driving you through the park. And it's like... 
Well, no, that makes kind of sense. Have you been to Disneyland? I mean, I've been, I just... yeah, I've been to Disneyland, but I mean, just the way they chose to do that. <laughs> the, I mean, why the would free, they... they came up with motorized vehicles with Autotopia, and that like turned into bumper cars, like within yeah. the first year of, their... <laughs> and then just put everybody on tracks and said, okay, <laughs> we don't trust people with motorized vehicles. It just does not work in a theme park. So. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess I'm going to play this wonderful, wonderful. <sighs> we'll try game. You know, <laughs> So, uh, like I said, I can't think about this objectively because, like, this is the one that got all the attention. And I, I'm not saying this from the point of jealousy or anything. It's just, like, in fact, I was kind of glad not to be part of this because, like, you know, Trip oh. would come and visit and say, how's it going? <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the as I've said often, the only thing worse than um, no attention from marketing on a project, mm -hmm. a game project, yeah. is a lot of attention from marketing on a project. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello for it. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I got to select. I, I was I was test playing this a little bit earlier, um, and it is not select. at all obvious what you're supposed to be doing. I'm hitting the A button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Animal systems, security systems. Animal systems. Let's take a look. Select tracking location. Ooh. All right. Security systems. Security systems. Select tracking location. Oh, is this yeah, one we're going to see? Where you have to move the people down to. Yeah. Now, if you hit the shoulder buttons, you can like actually rotate through the pre pre available. Oh, that's that. That's yeah. nice, and I would yeah. have loved if there was an on screen prompt to that. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, this is the day they relied on manuals and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Ah, yeah. oh, the last velociraptors. Okay, so if I want to get them to the heliport, I'm going to have to you, take you, her you, through. Uh, you have to like move them through the various waypoints until you can get to. Uh, I, now I remember the Velociraptor video. one. Yes, here we go. Yes, this totally looks like Hawaii slash Isla Nublar, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they, I, if, if I remember correctly, they shot this like in the woods around mm -hmm. like where three D O is essentially right. <laughs> a lot of this stuff. Or and so this might even be Griffith Park or whatever if they had to do anything <laughs> extra. It might, or it might even be a Golden Gate Park. That's not a wig at all. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see. Steering. Oh, so this is you the can actually switch um, which, uh, yeah, what your control oh. setup is. Uh, let's see. Steering, accelerate, which I be? Hmm. I can't remember which one is actually. I guess brake and accelerate is probably the most I'm used to. Uh, mirror view. Okay, let's go. Save current game, blah, blah, blah. Resume game. Oh. No, I so now there's stuff that appears in the road that will like stop you. And if okay, so this is actually one of the earliest things. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing Monster Manor, I'm and drive. <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, they would just leave the skeleton on the road in the theme park, you know? <laughs> unless it's unless it's a prop. It looks like it looks like it's fallen trees, actually. But well, no, there was one that was actually like it's but like almost like fossilized bones of like it looked like a triceratops carcass on the road. Mm -hmm. There was definitely bones. They were, they weren't white tree branches. They were what people think a skeleton looks like. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Now the so question was, is, I... why would you ever use the brake? See it there, that on the side of the road. Exactly. It, well, to me, it looks like a fallen tree. That is not a. All right. Okay. Yeah, 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 right. That was not a fallen tree. All right. Let's let's rewind. Go back to the video. <laughs> You'll put some text in there. that says not a fallen tree. <laughs> there may be more stranded guests. It says, Check your computer. Oh, and then we can do like the hacking mini games, don't we? Um. Yeah. Right. Can I go? There we go. Engineering. Engineering systems. This is like you have to play Nedry's little mini games, right? You have to play Nedry's little um, mini games, which are five different games, Level one to uh, unlock th unlock the systems, reboot it, and uh, and call the uh, the, the so, cargo ship. So this back. is sort of like a mini game slash party game. Uh, so yeah, this is Space Invaders. Now, do I lose points if I hit Nedry as opposed to the? No, I think it's there. It's I think it's all two hundred and fifty points each, no matter which one you hit. You have to get to twenty thousand before you're allowed to go to the next game. I mean, yes, I realize it's space invader. 
Hmm. So anyway, so I'm in the middle of doing Monster Manor, and I know this is being made, you know, with trem you know tremendous uh, attention and whatnot. And just, um, one of the one of the legendary things uh, is the amount of money that was reputedly spent during development. Um, I'm given to understand that they actually like sent people to learn stop motion animation with Phil Tippett. Even though there's none. Even though there is no stop motion animation to speak of in the game. But there um, is in your game. Uh, yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> the mo yeah, the monsters were stop motion animated by um, by Kim Tempest. She put them on an armature and she would like you know wiggle them around, take a frame, and then and then spent hours upon hours upon hours uh, fiddling with them in um, stu Studio Thirty Two. Studio 3D. Anyway, so it was a 32-bit paint program for the Mac. Uh oh, am I about to die? How many lives do I have? You have four lives oh. left, and you've cleared the point requirement. Oh. So, yeah. so I can die at any time. That's correct. There's no. Uh... Uh, no, apparently not. You have to actually die. <laughs> so, so this is this is going on, and they're they're, they're, they're spending. Oh, and yeah, apparently Gee. they like had they actually had a Gee, stop motion. <laughs> they, they actually had a, di a dinosaur model, a, 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 a posable dinosaur model. My guess is that because they, not even the people working on the game were quite sure what they were going to be able to do, what the technology was going to allow them to do. Yeah. So they just had this scattershot approach. Well, let's learn all we can about yeah, all this and, and spend on, huge dive. amounts of money getting everything that we might conceivably ever need. There we go. Nope. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is all going on while I'm um, working on Monster Manor, and so I'm f and I and because of the way it's been presented to me, uh, I said he says your game has to be done uh, in uh, by Christmas, just because that's because that's about when the, the platform ships. And I went okay, um, so oh, I assume Galaga. everyone who was who was a putative launch title, including this thing, Nedry's. Fat ass here. Uh, it's yeah. really easy to get hit by, is that? Uh, everyone, bad. everyone that's a putative launch title, uh, which Jurassic Park Interactive was slated as, hey. uh, was going to have to be shipped hey, by Christmas. A, they did a sequence for the, the Lost World, even though their, their Jurassic Park 3, I guess, is the one that had the pteranodons in it, I guess. Or doc well, they, didn't, well they, had, they had pterodactyls, I guess, a little bit at the end of Lost World, but then it was like the. Pteranodon sequence was the big one in Jurassic Park 3. Oh, I, I haven't seen JP3. Hmm. It's worth seeing. Everybody's like, you know, oh, hello, come on. So, so, anyway, so my, this is going, so this is going on, and I'm, gotta, I'm looking at the does calendar. Does it say, like, what, what level I've got to get to here? Um, what, oh, 20, I think it's 20 or 22,000, something like that. It's when the, um, when the, just before the game starts, there's a title page telling you how many points you need. Hey, this, uh... The D-pad's a little mushy here. It's like I'm having to having to push a little uh, oh a little bug there. Uh, Stop moving. Okay, but uh, yeah, so you had to be done by Christmas. I had to be done by Christmas, and I assumed all the all the other cons had to be done by Christmas too. And this was putatively a launch title. Um, so I'm every so often launch title the pack in right a pack in yeah. To, um, so it had to be done in November right or something or like earlier so because I'm, they so had I'm to press at, the thing. I'm yeah. looking at some of the pre, you know the release candidate not release candidate but you know some of the you know works in progress because we would occasionally get uh, a CD ROM with uh, what they had on uh, um, what they had so far. And one of the and one of the ones I have the most clear memory of is the driving game where you're driving away from the from right. T Rex. That was and like I'm, on that was like on like a demo disc and wasn't even that at CES one of the demos they showed. CES? I don't. Know. I remember seeing it as like one of the earliest pieces of footage for the. Well, actually, one of the, the no, one of the game. one of the earliest demos was almost like just a tech demo, um, where they basically had one guy walking in the foreground and then a bunch of foliage and then some um, like dinosaur fins um, poking up from behind the trees and so forth. Level three security. And what that was supposed to illustrate is, oh my gosh, colors and you know, uh, <laughs> alpha al alpha blending and stuff like that. Okay. Um, Twenty thousand next level. Okay. Yep. Dino Eggum. Yeah. Hmm. This is yeah. You'll 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 figure this out right away. Oh yeah, I remember this. No, I, I mean I actually bought this. Oh wait, is this? Mm. Okay. Do you have another controller? <laughs> uh, yes. I don't know that the cord is long enough. 
What do you mean you don't know the cord is long enough? Oh, is it a Zadnos controller? It, no, it's not a Zadnos controller. It's another one. I, th I think actually, I think they're actually the reason I picked that controller is because the other one was actually worse. Um, so anyway, so I'm seeing the some of the, you know, the the the, you know, work in progress discs that are coming by, and I'm looking at them and I'm going, this isn't very good. This isn't very done. This isn't know. very yeah. It isn't very done either, and I'm going. Is it something wrong with me? I mean, this is this is the project that's getting all the money and all the attention and all the development, and I'm, it's just me and my tiny Which little is... team of you know you know two programmers, me and John Loop, and uh, about five artists um, who are just like you know feverishly creating uh, wall wall uh, textures and, and monsters and so forth, and and uh, and it looks like we may actually have trouble being done on time and these guys had just huge amounts of resources relatively speaking and the stuff that's coming out I'm going going why this there must be something wrong with me because I think this sucks maybe it's because they hired real artists or something like that <laughs> <laughs> as we talked about last time or it's like oh. and so it's and so it goes on and on and on and on and then finally you know so my my game's complete and it's you know it's called okay it's done golden master uh, and and out it goes. And Jurassic Park is still being worked on. And still being worked on. And still being worked on. And we get to, I can't remember what it was, like March of the following year? Before this, they finally said, okay, we're, we have Gold Master. Okay. And I went, all right. <laughs> uh, and then I saw it and I went, you know, this isn't actually all that much better. I mean, the textures are prettier, but this isn't actually functionally improved over the right. over the works in progress that I was seeing back in, in October. Um, and so that's that's one of the reasons why I say that I have trouble thinking about this game objectively because it just well, didn't make any it didn't make any um, logical sense to me. That it's like, well, obviously this is going to be so clearly magnificent given all the effort that's being put into it. And then and then this comes out and I kind of went what what well, and then, <laughs> I don't get it. Well, as for not making their deadline, they were probably like, well, let's do it right. Mhm. Mm as opposed to like say yeah, when know, it's done. like say ET. Oh. Um, you know, <laughs> that might have been like a mandate from Spielberg, which is like don't just ship it to get it out for Christmas. We know how that ends up. <laughs> so, you know, but at the same point it's like, you know, Remember, this was still early in the 3DO's life thing where they were yes. not saying it's not a game system. It's an interactive, uh, whatever, yeah. multimedia yes. device. So, so you know, they wanted to have some, you know, there's some small attempts at edutainment where they tell you about the different types of dinosaurs and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Basically, you have to clear this board, don't you? Uh, no, you, you don't have to clear the board. You can know. clear the board. And I then mean, to get the 20,000. But when you get to 20,000, you're done. Sure. Yes, I know to get twenty thousand, but I mean, saying look like I will to get to twenty thousand, I might have to. I just guess get one more tile, I guess. Right. Which might. Ugh. Yeah. Big. That should be it. There, there we go. go. Blah. I think I hit that. But anyway. But yes, it's a collection of mini games because it's like they didn't want to. They, you know, it's one of the things like, well, look at all the different things we can do as opposed to just doing one thing really well, mm -hmm. like say, you know, like the Velociraptor sequence, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, which oh, that uh, engine chasing, is uh, chasing through the, the 3D, yeah, 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 but you can't. There's no, uh, there's no shooting in it, right? So right, yeah, that's you know, which actually itself makes it kind of like a horror game. It's not like mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's not quite Aliens versus Predator, but that, if that had been the whole game and mm -hmm. they'd refined that mechanic, probably would have worked out. It could have been quite could, scary. Could have, yeah, yeah. But you know, yeah, but they, yeah, they did this. So they did a whole bunch of stuff. And. Some of it was the early basis for uh, Killing Time, right? The, um, the... Yeah, in fact, I think the they repurposed the engine for. Um, so it's, in this game, there's you know. Walking, oh, now I've got like, one life left. One eight, running through the uh, the complex. They repurposed the engine they used for that and used it for um, Killing Time, is is what I'm given to understand. It's like. Thought, because I'm when I finished, because yeah. <laughs> when I finished Monster Manor, I transitioned. To, I didn't uh, stay on with game development. I transitioned right. over to system software. Right. Well, 
with you play. Oh. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> and this last one I remember is what asteroids or something. Like um, that? yeah, more or less. But so now if I do this, this is kind of asteroids-ish. Level four secure. So you know, this was one of the big releases. I bought this when it came out, mm -hmm. so I played it, and I was like, uh, okay. And this is and this originally was released as an independent title, and then after a few months they made it a pack in. So you basically shoot. The, sh the front of your truck shoots. Oh, this is not the asteroids I'm thinking No, of. no, th that's the next level. But This, this is, is like armor attack, ish. except zoomed in way too close. Is there like a zooming function? See, if there, if there were a zooming function on this, I, I would don't say know. I, haven't try I didn't try the shoulder buttons, but. Yes. Educational. <laughs> so you shoot the damn dinosaur. Yes. Oh, this is going to take forever to get 20,000. This is going to take forever to get 20,000. These controls are not the, the best. <laughs> uh, so these are absolute controls. These are not real um, yeah, controls. Oh, this is I never I don't think this I think this one's gonna beat me. Because the truck moves too fast, you're zoomed in too close, right. so you can't see enough. You can't see what's going on. And like, it's taking up twenty, you know, half the screen is taken up by useless crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and you can't back up. No, you can't. <laughs> like a real car. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I suppose I could. Do they come out of the the wood? Yeah, they do. Out of the woodwork, out of the bamboo. Out of the forest, it looks like they might. I, I hadn't resolved that in my own mind. I mean, point. I guess they could say, well, this is supposed to be a, a game that he's playing on his computer, but this looks like nothing a computer and I guess he's playing on a silicon graphics workstation. Right? Yeah. Unix system, I know this. You know that wonderful line? <laughs> that, is, oh, Lexi. That, has been, that has like entered the common lexicon. It's like, it's oh, like, lexicon, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> It tells you everything. Yes. Although that, that that interface is not that too far removed from like what Metro is nowadays, if you think about it. <laughs> um, actually, wasn't that like a canned demo from SGI? Oh yeah, that, that is a mildly... real that is a real file browser for SGI. You could get that. You could use mm -hmm. that because I, I used that in college uh, on our SGI workstation the, that we had on our little project there. Huh. We had conned uh, Caltech into buying us some uh, <laughs> uh, SGI work. Not really conned. I mean, they were we were legitimately com producing computer animation for mm -hmm. for science. Science. Uh, <laughs> pew 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 pew. I have a master. You could move around things. a little, I suppose. <laughs> I could, but I want to yeah. stay kind of towards the edge here because it seems like they don't come out of the the forest as much. Um, so I'm thinking it's a little easier to spot them than if I move. If I move around, I'm going to just drive right into one. Mm -hmm. So I just want to get past the thing. So what? What? How much does this package cost on the old Ford Explorer? Um, <laughs> yeah, which? Do you remember that? You this? remember the Ford Explorer that was like hyped up in the movie for this thing? Because uh. that that's that is. It, I mean, it's very prominently a Ford Explorer in the movie, with the most badass sunroof you could imagine. <laughs> I wasn't paying that close attention to the movie. <laughs> well, well, well. How could you? Okay, we're forget back about the forget in about the truck the, again. Forget about the movie. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that whole summer was just mm. nothing but Jurassic Park. It, yes. It was a media blitz. Remember the supersized, dino-sized um, combo meals at McDonald's, oh. where it's like. Yeah, it was like, yeah, you know, this, you got like a bucket like... of Coke, you yeah. like two pounds of fries oh, and all that. So it was just, and it worked marvelously. And then, of course, Super Size Me came out, and then that destroyed all that. Mm -hmm. but, but, yeah, that was like the whole summer was just that. It, yeah, it was It was just crazy. It I was mean, like it was like when they launched Raiders, you know, Lost Ark. It was like when that came out. It was just like the cultural, like, I, every know, movie that summer pretty much forgot that they were released. Poor, I, la poor I Last know. Action Hero. I don't know. Uh, Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, I think was kind of like a sleeper surprise. I mean, they, I, they were kind of like, oh, what do you know? This is act people actually want to see oh, this no, the, kind of movie. But, well, and and it while it was relatively hyped, it wasn't hyped nearly to the degree of organizational and well, yeah. Well, marketing just got better, period, in the decade yeah. that between mm -hmm. Jurassic Park and, or between Raiders and Jurassic Park. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is slow. So if if you're wondering why this game didn't do so well, well, these are the hacking mini games. These are the right? hacking mini games, we as opposed to the, to the uh, navigational board game hack game mini games that are in this thing. All right, two more away from this. You're almost done. I know. One, two, oh, three no. more. Oh no, that's right. Two, one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Two, try to the car. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for me to die here, which won't take long. Ooh, there's some fancy maneuver in there. Hey, I don't get to take him out by just driving into him. No, uh, apparently not. Which was I love the pink blood, you know. <laughs> and the pink car, too. What's up with that? But yes, I mean, yeah, that was like... So, you know, I can understand why they were hyping this, because this was like, you know, mm -hmm. the biggest intellectual property since Star Wars, yeah. I mean, yeah. this whole thing. Um, so yes, you couldn't have, you, you know, it, in theory it should make it for a great game, or at least, well, that's the problem, is like, great movies rarely make for great games. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Mm -hmm. Usually crappy movies and, make and, better and games. And conversely, it's also true. Very, well, so far, yeah. yeah. So far, yeah. But I'm, I also remember um, we were in the middle of platform development and other things. It was like um, maybe nine months before the machine came out. Okay, this and is funny. There we go. There we go. So wait, what is the freaking perspective on those trees there? What is this? <laughs> I guess we'll say Nedry is just a frustrated game designer. He's like Kevin Flynn, right? He's mm. like, yeah. <sighs> yeah, never underpaid right, the software so engineer. <laughs> How much did he get paid for his services? Uh, yeah. Apparently not enough, right? Apparently not enough. Networking to oh, connection machine. right. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, it's a family game. It's yeah. a family game. <laughs> but there you go. Here's here's Astros for you. Now, why am I... Nowadays, kids will look at that and go, why are being, he's, is he being attacked by giant save uh, icons? <laughs> So I mentioned that the kids that have no idea that that's supposed to be what that is, other than as a save icon. Hmm. I, yeah, it's a giant save icon. It's like they have no idea what a floppy disk is. They've never seen one. So now you know what I'm having trouble finding. Because I've got old, com I've got no, <laughs> I've got old Commodore 64 floppies laying around, and I'd like to read them again. I can't find a five and a quarter inch floppy drive. Oh, uh, yeah, you can. Well, I mean, you, if you want to... I mean, there are... Well, there, I, 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 I'm if not, you go on eBay, there's A, there's right, floppy drive. Right, if you go drive, on eBay, but... I and mean, then there's the, also, like, floppy drive replacements that take SD cards that you just plug into your Commodore 64. And, but that's... But I want to read actual floppies. So and I can... There's, like... They sell them as, like, a package. It's, like, A, to read this, and also then to, like, archive them onto SD cards uh -huh. and stuff like that. They have, like, universal ones that, like, work with, like, you know, Apple II, the Commodore, to everything. Mm-hmm. Um, well, if I, see, I already have the thing that'll that'll read. That so you, you need the floppy drive. Then you plug the floppy drive into this in gadget. In fact, there's a, Howie. there's even like some uh, somewhere. There's also like a a CD-ROM replacement for uh, for 3DO. Uh -huh. uh, you can use a, a flash memory card to oh. like replace the uh, CD-ROM drive. That's kind of that's kind of impressive. Uh, not really. Some Russians did it. It's always <laughs> the Russians. So you better uh, start snatching him up before Putin like clamps down on him or something. Interesting, your your lives are still at seven. I don't get it. I think I'm just scoring enough points. Oh, so Six. those are like so. This is more like it's not like asteroids so much as it's like um, uh, space duel, or at least asteroids deluxe with like these seeking ones, the ones that like yeah, I know that yeah, they do change direction. Once you uh, hit them, they like decide to turn into little mad bombers. So what are those? What's the red cubes supposed to be? Those holographic cubes or something? Is this like? I don't know. That Nedry used to store how many uh, terabytes of data that he had. Well, it was a connection 92. machine after all. <laughs> yeah, I was that? Remember? Yeah, connection machine. Gotta love it. Did they at least put any jokes on the motherboard? Like, uh. I don't know, I haven't. P flag, huh? What is that? P dot flag. It's obviously some, obviously some artist who just, like, you know. Just grabbed every t Cynic V2.2. <laughs> MHD. And whatever you could knock up in Deluxe Paint and uh, mm -hmm. it's like <laughs> Ah, Deluxe Paint. Oh yeah. How we miss you. Yes we do. 
especially three. The grand three. Deluxe, Deluxe Paint three. Yeah, with all the animation stuff, the oh. anim brush. Well, what, what about DP four? Uh, kind of uh, not quite the same. Yeah. I, I I've got a I'm, copy of DP Paint three. Uh, That's yet? something I was thinking of doing. Is uh, we might, wondering whether we might transition to old Amiga games. We could. We could go real old school. I could whip out the old Atari fifty two hundred and do a, some <laughs> cast on that. Although I had to, I, I'm going to have to get my uh, my joysticks re. Uh, Refurbished oh, by man. Best Electronics. Or whatever. Wow! Yeah. No, they've got they can they can do wonders with the refurbishing. Um, they use like the gold circuit contacts so that you know. twenty two thousand. You you're you're done. You're in. Oh. Now there now there's there's zero point six point three. Is that the version they shipped? Is that uh, <laughs> CP three? Are they gonna play? Now, is that Street Fighter? Sort of in the upper left. Sort of in the upper left of this play field is a fan which yeah. sort of acts as it but if you fall through it now because it's off right now because it's not pulling you in if you fly into it you go to like another level oh, oh. Uh, my, oh is this where i'm being attacked by cd roms yeah. if i remember correctly oh, yes okay. so let's uh hey so, 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 yeah that's the right direction Oh, come on, they at least could have, like, sucked me and spun me in or something like that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, but they didn't get the anisotropic... Uh, Look, uh, they're gold discs. Ha, ha. Oh, wait, yeah. They we're... were so optimistic. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Did I wrap War around? Yes, you did. Ah. But, but you're, you're, there. You do, but your bullets don't. Suck. <laughs> well, here, let's let it suck me in. Uh, they could have at least... Done some blending around the edges of those, you know. I'm seeing some harsh. Uh, yeah. They didn't, or you know, they know how to do that. These are these guys. It, <sighs> anyway. I yeah. I don't know who. Where were? We? Oh, we sh should mention since the last time we did our podcast, or maybe just before we did our last podcast. Yeah. Jeff Edwards passed away. Oh. For those of you who don't know, which is probably most of you, whose life begins at Nintendo Entertainment System as far as game systems go. Jeff Edwards was the host of Starcade oh, back wow. in the early 80s. Yeah. This is how people found out about arcade games if, say, you lived in a small Midwestern town who <laughs> didn't have an arcade, or at least mm -hmm. until he was in high school. Yeah, Star uh, Starcade, which was on uh, Turner Broadcasting. TBS, TBS, yes. yeah. Back in the day. Of which <laughs> one of us, one of us was a contestant. Yeah. <laughs> I will give oh. you a hint as to the episode. <laughs> AWAC does not know the difference between Defender and Stargate. <laughs> That'll be enough to get Not you on going. Site. <laughs> on site, yes. Yeah, so no, no. <laughs> Access permitted to all levels. Okay, so now that I have the security so system, we unlocked. just slogged our way through the five mini games. So you... Yes. We'll post some links to uh, Starcade episodes. Well, maybe... Not your specific one. We'll, we'll, make, <laughs> we'll make that. Maybe we should make that a contest. It's like. <laughs> Find AWAC <laughs> when on Starcade in his uh, teens, and we'll send you oh, a prize. <laughs> well, oh, no, well, now we well, have to make good on that. Well, <laughs> you can always add this out. <laughs> I I have some three year swag I could part with without any any pain. Trust me on that. <laughs> Was the entire series on YouTube now? I mean... It's not on YouTube, but it's on uh, the Internet Arcade. Oh, or okay. not the inter the you know the uh, was archive.org archive. org yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's there plus there's also the official Starcade website that I think has most of the episodes oh okay which even might make your job easier to find a work <laughs> um so let's see what we got here uh, how come it doesn't say what this is what you mean like a pop up balloon like what yeah what it is I uh, think that I think that's the one well okay those that was how you got into the that's the, okay the one on the left is an alternate for Level getting the for playing the various mini games. So I think you just Access launched permitted. A, well, I think you just launched this again. So. Oh, crap. <laughs> See, that's not a good user interface. No, it? it's not. So anyway. Um, and the so, middle one is call for the ship, and then the right-hand one I forget. So, yes, before the crash, Starcade was on the air mm -hmm. for like 130-some episodes or something like that. That sounds about right. Yeah. And it was, I remember it being on every afternoon. Um, mm -hmm. And so I probably did see you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, basically this is how I got so good at identifying classic arcade games. Ah. Long before MAME. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> was, and I could, you know, 
And I can now like identify most games in like five seconds. Mm-hmm. I can do the same with most '80s movies too, which. I can't remember all the freaking math and calculus I learned in, in, in the 80s. I still have to whip out graph paper every time I have to do something. But, uh, you know, mm. we're now going to just Google it. But, uh, yeah, that stuff sticks in my brain for some reason. Really, mm. It's really full, full in there of that stuff. So I used to play that little game at, uh, at different places I worked. It's like I said, if it's a movie I've seen within the 80s, I can identify within five seconds. Mm. Boss didn't believe me at the first place I worked, and said, "Okay, try it." And she like went flipping through the cable channels, like, "Okay, this one." And I go, "Jaws 2. <laughs> and she's like, "Okay, I could see maybe you getting that it's Jaws, <laughs> but Jaws two in five seconds." <laughs> and, I, and I immediately went into like my how my brain went through is like, "Okay, there's a lot of underwater photography here. There isn't much of that in the actual Jaws, but there's John Williams theme music playing, so mm-hmm. I know it has to be Jaws two. Mm-hmm. Jaws three had no John Williams music." And was, Mm-hmm. They say that, dude, and it's under good underwater photography. Can't be Jaws one because there was really no good underwater photography in Jaws one. Right. Jaws three was in three D. So yeah. yeah. Well, well, they don't. That doesn't matter on cable. I right. Because yeah. they never showed that until recently. You can now get that on three D Blu Ray, and somebody goes, "Yep, still shitty." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but at least you can see how cheesy it was. Now you don't just have to guess how cheesy it was by seeing mm-hmm. it on cable in two D. It's like, oh look, this sort of three D badly composited. Half fish is floating out in front of us. Ooh, scary. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh, amore eel. Scary. <laughs> a shark Bruno. that doesn't turn or move coming straight at us. <laughs> Bruno, I'm going to do this 3D effect on you. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, not, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, Starcade was a big part of growing up. Because mm-hmm. there wasn't much good in the early 80s there wasn't much good afternoon uh after school tv no <laughs> you know this is long before like they, Tra- they start having good animated shows after school <laughs> yeah like before disney started getting back into doing afternoon stuff so you guys before long before ducktales and uh, uh yeah. or even gummy bears or anything like that uh, this, i was i think wasn't gi joe the thing yeah it was a that was frame yeah rate. i think yeah. it was shot on 12 and knowing is half the battle <laughs> <laughs> Have you, you should see some of the redubbed versions of those little <laughs> uh, oh, those uh, little public service announcement that they had to stick in every show so that it wasn't a 30 minute commercial winners don't do drugs that's how they justified that it wasn't a commercial it was like it had to have educational content in it mm-hmm. yeah so they had these horribly lacked on things it's like targeted toy commercial for don't kids. go swimming in that don't yeah. go swimming in the rain lightning might strike or oh don't don't go near that down power line mm-hmm. it could still be live and it's like there's sparks coming out. <laughs> it's, it's like really you would just be thinning out the gene pool at this point <laughs> joe <laughs> Well, yes, they've now, of course, redubbed those. And so, when did when did um, like uh, Transformers and uh, uh, yeah, around the same time? I, I see. I can't. I don't mid, know what's it's actual like early, name. I only know early was... to mid uh, '80s was like Transformers Generation One. Where, okay, yeah. but there's another one I'm thinking of. It's a Japanese superhero thing. It's not called Dynaman. That was the parody name that was on USA Night Flight. There was. It was actually called. Was it animated or no? It was like five people, you know, you know, in a pink, a red, a black outfit, you know, and and they would assemble into a giant robot and slay the uh, bad guy of the week. Live Um, action or animated? Yes, it was live action. So it's not Voltron. You're thinking it might. It might be no Voltron's animated. Okay, all right. Um, but but yeah, pink. Whoa, well, that sounds like the Power Rangers, doesn't it? But it was, if you look, if, but okay. So if you look for Dynaman, you'll see the parody version of it. I can't remember okay. what the real version. Was. Okay, but okay, yeah. go get call the damn ship. Wait, did you push? No, I did the shift buttons to shift to the next available. Damn it! Oh, for Pete's sake! And of course, can I? Quick. I can't quick. Okay, now current game. That's kind of ambiguous. Yeah, let's okay. Let's just let him. Uh... Uh, let's uh oh no i've had too much fizzy lifting drink oh no what am i going to do here <laughs> see if you can pick up that reference kids oh not that hard uh, hint, it doesn't star johnny depp uh because <laughs> uh, he wasn't born yet yeah no johnny depp he's like he would have been yeah johnny depp is older than Just i am barely johnny depp is 50 really yes really yes damn yes all right now i feel old <laughs> 
I think he's over 50 or whatever, but yeah, he's... He could, he's, he's already he's, feeling old enough. <laughs> so, well, you know, anyway. if you made as much money as Johnny Depp, you could afford to have the best personal mm. trainers and nutritionists and all that stuff in the world. Trust me, he's got more gray hairs than you and I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, he certainly works harder than I do. I, mean, I don't know, have you seen Lone Ranger? I, no, I haven't. <laughs> Here's that's, Johnny Depp in a stupid hat. That's the definition of phony. I can't believe that got nominated for best makeup, when and visual effects. Pacific Rim didn't get nominated for best visual effects. Oh, and, you're, I was and, I was aggressively not paying to the attention to the Oscars this year. But Pacific Rim didn't get a nom for Pacific for effects. Vi visual effects, but Lone Ranger did. Okay. Now it's both. They're and both still. Why I don't pay attention to the Oscars. It's, they're both still ILM, mind you. But uh -huh. didn't win. No one won it. Gravity was going to win anyway, so it was like. Uh, mm -hmm. But it was still kind of like a big slap in the face to Pacific Rim, and ILM. This is like the. This keeps happening where ILM like does like literally the best work of the year, and it's just like. Mm -hmm. Nope. Sorry. Well, I mean, Gravity. Yes, Gravity. Maybe they just like give ILM a uh, you know like a, a, a lifetime it's achievement. The, it's more of those like, like yeah, okay, you, you we won know so many you're times, excellent. Yeah. Funk, here like, you go. Yeah. What that happened on before? I think it happened. Um, it wasn't on Avengers, but it was like one of the the big superhero movies they where they just didn't get nominated. And it was like, what, really? And it was like, come on, you know. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I'm dying as fast as I can. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, don't touch anything. But yes, check out Starcade, kids. Check out the episodes of Starcade. You'll you'll be enamored where it's like it's basically a one long commercial for, for for arcade games, but it doesn't feel you don't feel bad about it. Actually, I had an interesting conversation with one of the producers when I was on the show. It's just like we're just like waiting for something to be set up, and um, he's and he mentioned something about the prizes that were available to him. Oh, incoming data. Okay, yeah. <laughs> ETA 16 hours, two crewmen lost. Okay. Oh, is that because I took too long unlocking the, the security system? Yeah, I, no, I don't think so. That's what it said to me when I was pre-playing oh, okay. pre playing this. And um, trans, this, okay. Yeah. Um, I was b briefly talking to one of the producers, and he mentioned something about the prizes um, and how he wasn't happy with the, the prizes that were available. And I said, well, what sorts of prizes would so you definitely. get? What sorts of prizes do you, do you do you prefer to have on game shows? And he says, like, oh, like a bedroom set. And I went, he says, but I can't do that on this show. And I kind of, yeah, I can see why. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's but a show about video, but see, probably right. because they so didn't have the video game, game people, like, they had game show people doing it. Like Right, but he had to go to, like, Texas Instruments to get, a, you know, the, the TI-99 4A computer or... Right. or or what have you. It's just like a bedroom set. I'm going, why Why was the first thing he thought of a bedroom set? So, so here's I, literally the reverse angle of the one she did before. Uh-huh. Even though yeah. it's a totally different part of the island. Allegedly. <laughs> There's only, they only have like one grove of trees in California. It's a desert. Uh, so, <laughs> at least Northern California. So it's, hey, it is there aren't more, any red, more redwoods around Northern here. County's really pretty. Come on. Okay. Surrounded by spitters. Oh, the spitter thing. You have oh, a taser this, weapon. I, okay, I Charge tried it this. wisely. Okay, you have to hold it down. All right, and then... Oh, that's right, I can... I oh can my start. god, I forgot you could move. <laughs> okay, that's one down. Damn it. Do you have a shield? No. Sunglasses maybe would be good here? <laughs> Okay. 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 We'll take that. <laughs> yeah, that was ragdoll physics there, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how come their shots are not blocked by the trees, but mine are? <laughs> okay, that's three down. And I'm about to four die. to go. Yeah. Yeah, you're about to get oh, turned please. blind. Damn it. Can I clear this? Okay, two more. Oh, no. We're kind of, yeah. That's kind of it. Damn it. So I'm not dead. Is Sadler dead? Yes. So, so she's dead. I've, I've, she's dead. I've failed. I have killed Ellie. 
sorry, you did not make it. <laughs> nice. <sighs> I hate that level. <laughs> so yeah, li yeah, lives left. Oh okay. man. Okay, so I gotta move. No, that's her. Yeah, that was her. Yeah. So Muldoon. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we all never... right if <laughs> we couldn't afford that shot at all <laughs> there we go so it's gonna be the t-rex driving thing again probably uh in the park building oh no it's um oh the wandering one velociraptors right? find the keys to get through the locked doors raptors are in the building trap them now are these doors push just push, right? Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Oh, you, did you just turn around? I hit C. I have no I, idea. I, I, C might have taken you through them. I don't know. What is that? Oh, C is quick turnaround? Oh, it's quick turn... Ah! You mean like that? <laughs> oh, so the um, heart heartbeat... The heartbeat sound is how close... Uh, the uh, the Velociraptor is too. So now I'm dead. He's... Now Muldoon is dead. Okay. So... <laughs> but you know he dies anyway. You know, so. Yeah, that's a fulfilling thing. But Ellie, I killed Ellie. I don't. There's no way to win the Velociraptor one, or not the the Spitter one. I don't think I've ever won the Spitter one. Yeah. So not the same guy. <laughs> totally not the same guy. Uh, well, is this the same? I don't know. So the same girl. Oh, this looks like another the driving game again. Yep, because he's getting in the Jeep. So, so. And away. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's and that that one podcast that's on uh, Throwback Reviews, uh, No Quarters, did a whole Starcade show. Like they didn't realize it, but it was not long before he died, and oh. they talked about the show and the contestants and like how they, you know. Mm -hmm. there's a bunch of people who were also contestants who like wrote up like like different strategies of like how you how you could win and basically how you know if you didn't know the games really well mm -hmm. you would uh you could basically make it see i say those are bones okay definitely bones Doesn't make sense. Other that ruined vehicles. Doesn't like, make sense that it's there, but uh, yeah. So, so the, yeah, the pre, yeah. So the, <laughs> the the working versions of these, the, the 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 works in progress versions of these, don't didn't look appreciably worse than this. Hmm. And I uh -oh. really couldn't figure out why that was. I would have expected one thing. Oh, oh, and also the frame rate was not better back when the art was more primitive. Which I found really surprising, because I I was regarded frame rate as very important. Are so, they doing like a really expensive blend effect to get that headlight thing? Is that why it's, I don't, the frame rate's kind of low? I don't know. It, it's possible, but I I don't think not so. that they that actually shouldn't have been a problem to do that. Well, as was, long as the other layer, there wasn't a huge amount of overdraw on the other stuff there. Which, right. I, I mean, I guess it was, they didn't know there, how to there do was, it. There was. I mean, there was. Um, I mean, there, uh, a blend. Straight away, a blend away. back then is as it is now a read modify write operation so you take you know twice the memory hit right yeah number but of cycles but uh, um, still but yeah you're almost done oh because i gotta reach zero on yeah the, once you get to zero the then meter. you go yeehaw, yeehaw. Okay. <laughs> like slim pickens riding the bomb and <laughs> dr strange love <laughs> bought uh you but, made it but yeah there was uh like a strategy of like, you know, and also because they were talking about something like the Dragon Slayer episodes, where basically it was just like luck of the draw because the, the way Dragon Slayer works, you really can't get different points for different scenes. There's really no way to improve. Mm. Or actually, Cliffhanger is probably worse because you always play the scenes in the same order. So right. there isn't really much variation that you can get through. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like. Yeah, yeah, the whole points thing for Dragon Slayer is a little confusing. Because you know, if you do play the game perfectly, you get to the end with the same number of events. Right. It's the same person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's driving again. 
I can't. I, Why I did think, you get out of the car? I have to think how much money they wasted, you know, going out and filming these people. Although, actually, this is probably one of the cheaper parts of production because they just had mm-hmm. local people. Is that. Actually, we're going to have to look at the credits of that, about who that is. Is that. I think that might. Ah! Wait a minute. We just did this. Yes, you did. So now Because it's doing random. Yeah. yeah, well, it appears to be some random selection. Sorry, people, that you were watching this whole thing over. Ah, okay. Okay, that looks like dinosaur bones. Is what That's it what like. I'm saying. Oh, I thought you... St- you made it sound like it was human bones. No. <laughs> I, I thought... It, okay, maybe I didn't say dinosaur... I, I, I even might have said they were triceratops bones, which is what they look like. Because <laughs> there's a big old horn in the center of them. There's that, you know, funky head that... Ah, boy. I mean, the four explorer can't go off-road. I mean, come on. I'm surprised they didn't have the the Ford logo on this thing. I'm sure they... I would hope marketing would try to do that at least, you know. Unless they played the final game and said, nope, take it out. We're not mm. <laughs> but then again, a marketing person would look at this and go, oh, awesome. This is great. Now, uh, another one of the stories from way back f- from the production of this is that um, it was said, and I'm not quite sure who first said it, that the 3DO console was going to be appear in the film, in Jurassic Park. That would be really hard. Given in, in like in the gift shop or something, or as like some interactive, it would be... inter, inter, interactive edu, well, educational no, well, console. Well, remember they had the the console in the car, right? But okay, the movie was made in '91. Mm-hmm. It released in '92 because the extensive you know post production mm-hmm. they had to do on the thing. Yeah, you know. I mean, Spielberg had time to shoot Schindler's List while they were doing post-production on this movie. And, mm-hmm. and was, yeah. So he had that one-two punch of, you know, yeah. that 92. He yeah, you know, the, released the... both Jurassic Park and Schindler's List. And it's like, yeah. well, there's some director whiplash for you. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no way a 3DO in any form could have appeared in, during the production unless they did an insert shot in... Right. So early '92, maybe. Yeah. So, so I'm. Yeah. So I wasn't sure how. That would have to be an urban legend. That would be like or wishful thinking on Trip's part or something. I don't know what. The, there's no way that could be. Okay. Now, is this where I died last time with the spitter thing? Let's just go to. Let's try going to. Yeah, you're supposed to get everyone to the heliport. Will they even show water now? Yeah, I know it's supposed to get rid of heliport, but I'm, I'm saying I got the spitter thing last time when mm-hmm. I went to that one spot, so I'm just going to maybe assume it's a spitter thing. It's sure. But probably, it's probably just random dice. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, freak. Well, at least I now won't get Place hit. your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Time left warned. What is that? Um, you, the, um, you, you've, um, you've let, you've let, you've let the sh- cargo ship know. See, their shots are not blocked by trees. This is so bad design. In fact, there's any way to avoid their shots, or you just gotta, like, hope. Okay. You gotta go while they're running. Oh, Oh, come on! (laughs) Can I, I... Do I have any chance of getting these guys? Okay, one... There goes another one. You have three left. Two left. Oh, great. Oh, I keep forgetting the, that the charge button is not the, the one I would want it to be. Oh, that, that one was blocked. One left. Really? Yep. Hey! All right. It can be done! Poor Sattler. <laughs> <laughs> you will be missed. <laughs> There may be more guests. Yes, I know. And so now can you get them? Select destination. Display. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> that so looks like a heliport. <laughs> or by the docks. Or by the water. Or just like <laughs> random, yeah. Bushes, ran- yeah random that's... camera placed in random place on the island probably for trips, reasons. Probably trips backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not again. What? Oh, jeez Louise. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, they was... Uh, the, like I said, I'll, I'll point you to the No Quarter podcast where they did that. Oh, 
Okay. This is on normal difficulty, which is ostensibly right. easy. Yes. So these dicks are <laughs> are even harder in other incarnations of the game. Yep. Oh boy. No. No. That. Oh jeez. <laughs> I'm not going to rescue anybody. Ah. Oh man. So JP two then. <laughs> <laughs> loading remote systems, please stand by. What's it loading? Mm. Okay, so I'm guessing Nedry. He's up there. Malcolm. Well, what about kids? Didn't did the kids not to get the kids? The, up? There are there are kids, but I think you don't get them. I think you get them so through the advanced, the, the oh. higher play skill levels. Displaying video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's the five mini games to get access to the computer, and then. Just those three games: the spitters, the walk through the um, the complex, and the driving game. It says push. I don't have any buttons for push in this game. So when uh, uh, it's identified your weakness, he's wearing sunglasses. He shouldn't be affected by the spitters. Of course, Nedry was wearing. I'm just gonna stay put. Oh, come on. He's behind a tree. How can he hit me? If you had, like, a block mechanism, that would be fine. It would be a better game. And I can't believe anybody didn't say, Hey, guys, this game is really unfair compared to the other games, which are really bloody easy. <laughs> okay, this is a crappy spot to be in. And I'm dead. Die already, you little. Okay, four left. And oh, uh, three left. Two left. Ah. Oh, come on, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's left? You want to kill? You want to kill the last one, or? <laughs> yeah, let's kill the last. One. <laughs> but yeah, the. Uh... And apparently, I remember re listening on the No Corp Cup, uh, podcast, they were talking about how you... Do I want to save this, Bozo? <laughs> how you couldn't... Uh, how you couldn't... Um, they told you when you were playing, like, to try and match you up on your thing. They said, like, no, don't hold back. You know, basically, don't sandbag during the initial tryout uh -huh. to figure out how pe if people were good enough to... Because oh, he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. That's how you know it's Hawaii. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they, when, as you were playing the games, they made you, like, say, no, no, don't, don't, like, pretend to be bad at the game or something uh -huh. so that we match you up with somebody who's not as skilled at you. Did that happen? Oh, um, what, what we were trying out... Ah, oh, spitters! Game? Well, he's dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As I said, it knows your weakness now. Um, uh, no, they didn't. Uh, they 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 said, um, that, you know, they, they 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 encourage you to play your best. Oh, two shots. Um, but the way they I, the so okay so went into an audition, and if they accepted you at the first audition, then they brought you in again. And they basically had... Oh, come on. So you remember the opening of the show where they had, like, this... The camera would yes. pan over this vast room full of video games? Um, and they, uh... So they they put us all... You put you all in there, and then you rotated through all the games. It basically took all day and played... You said, okay, so play for, like, five yeah. minutes. Play for, like, five minutes to get, to get used to the machine, and then we'll have you play for 30 seconds, and at the end of 30 seconds, write down your score, and then move to the next machine. And that's how they got the the averages for the uh, for the games and then after that we were we were paired up by uh, production so no there's it wasn't so so when I when I got in front of the machines I was trying to do a reasonable job one left yes great but it's but it's the fat software guy so <laughs> I object to his portrayal of <laughs> software. I do too, because I mean, I remember the camera like panning around like the nice central control room, and his face was just like 
had food wrappers well, and yeah it was just like like then they, again they said, okay. like nedry is yeah nedry is a slob and he's unattractive and he's uh duplicitous okay. and we're going to make you happy yeah, when and he wears glasses oh, wait, uh, uh, okay yeah. so this is probably the underground um oh the yeah the I, think the, I think the camera malfunction presages the yes uh find your way out of the building you need to keys find locked doors trap them with escape they don't tell you what the controls are for this thing though for like c is a, a turn I think, around. I think no i think c is open the door no because okay, you, you just c is look oh. behind you oh all right okay a is open it but you have to hold it down all right hello it's loading um you've used a key mm, no i think so magnetic, magnetic lock. lock okay oh now you have two keys can I open this? Oh, I can. Can I close it? Of course, I'm I'm getting closer to the little buggers, though, aren't I? It's not really clear what that would get you, but yes, it's. Uh... Yeah, he's dead. I'm around the, he's around yeah. the corner. Yeah, or he's right behind you. Oh, oh. wait. Ah, shit-talkies. <laughs> I can't turn around fast enough. Curse you, Orin. <laughs> or did I misguess that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so Did I well, just he, go in a circle? I just yeah, that's, circle. No, that's a circle. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's an um, island dead end. Well, wait, then how did I get in here? Um, Through the way you just came in. So I think he's... Hi. Yeah, he's... He, he's trapped? He, yeah, he, well... Oh, Did he just he open said, the freaking door? Oh, uh, they have opposable thumbs. <laughs> Fuck that. You might How'd they get to, in You here? might be able to run away from him. I mean... Oh, shoot. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> and he's I think dead. They, didn't they use that um, shot in uh, the 3DO ads, the television ads? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nah, no. <laughs> Brachiosaurus. Vegisaurus, sis. <laughs> or Bronchitosaurus, because it's, <laughs> his knees all over her. But yeah, you want to try? How long did you nah, do? No, <laughs> no, that's, no, that's why I handed them to you, because. <laughs> put your put your Starcade skills to good use here, man. <laughs> People say it's nothing. No. Uh, no. A A A. Yeah, yes, I love that dude. Too. I love that artist. <laughs> Gaz. Here, let's go there see the credits. Chief director and chief artist on the game. And there's no way to speed this up. You hit the thing, it just cancels the credit. So yeah. basically, his is the only credit people are going to see before they hit the A button and say, yeah. "Okay, I've seen enough of this." <laughs> Uh, Remember all that Morph uh, software that we had that we used in Terminator 2? Well, we got a copy of that. Clap. This is where they spent their money. Uh, <laughs> this is a little crazy. And this is, I mean, now I would be impressed if they decided, oh wow, this is a trip down memory lane. If they decided to, uh, you know, if they tried to do this in real time on the 3 you. Mm -hmm. Could you? Mm, no. I don't know. If you mapped no. everything as a cell, as a, like yeah. did a bunch of quadrants. Right. Yeah. Well, you, okay. You might be oh, able to do God, some. Oh God! I'm remembering all these people now. It's like it's <laughs> it's like going through like my high school yearbook Nuke. or something. Here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You could you could do it. You could do it and sort of be sort of 3D ish. Um. But. Uh... Well, I mean, all of this is basically, and this this type of software is not. You just basically have a, a grid that you move the corners. You mm -hmm. have a whole bunch of grids and you move the the corners around. Mm -hmm. You don't let the grid points cross overlap each other on mm -hmm. this uh, the type of software they're using here. Later, of course, you could have like lines and stuff that could right. arbitrarily cross each other and stuff. And then you're just doing a crossfade between the two textures. Mm -hmm. You could totally do this on the hardware on the 3DO without much of a problem. Mm -hmm. You would, you know, pre-program it, but... Of course, it's like, eh, why not do it offline and turn it into a movie? Okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, cute. 
So I wonder what say, he did. Of course, it doesn't say why. These are the dumbest credits, though, because right, they, they don't, don't say, say what, what they, they do. do. Yeah. yeah, it's like. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So, what do you think? Dinosaur artist? I don't know. This... <laughs> I'm sure this is one of those things where it's like, well, we've got so much space on the disc, we'll let you do. Yeah. Al. <laughs> nice to see. Uh... But yeah, it's like it's usually the project that is like given the most lavish amount of money and is given the most attention. That's usually the one that can usually go horribly wrong, mm. or or at least massively underwhelm. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's one of those things where it's like you know, you can't predict a success. Marketing in particular can't predict. You know, they can't tell you what's going to be popular. They can't tell you why something's popular. They're going to mm-hmm. tell you what is currently popular at this moment in time, which right. is like, of course, I can tell by going looking at the NPD charts and mm-hmm. yeah, you know, it's like I don't need your analysis of why this is. You don't, you know, you, no matter how many, hey, or yeah. how many, how many charts and graphs and how many new terms you invent, like the. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oh, the cutthroat captains and the you know, uh, they're, they're, every yay Liz, yay Liz. She worked on um, uh, Monster Manor. Yes, she's yeah. <laughs> and then she transitioned over to this. And you can see on uh, yeah, well yeah, she had plenty of time right after Monster yeah, Manor after right Monster Manor because this thing wrapped, this yeah. didn't come out till May right so um, something like that. Chris Downend. Uh, I'm wondering when they'll get to. Uh, like who played the parts of the kids <laughs> that's in the manual if i remember correctly it's in the manual like the actual credits of the man so maybe they don't bother to put it on the it's like yeah because mm-hmm. we don't have hey, bob vera a uh, guy who did music in monster manor uh he, he looked old by the time i worked with him uh, <laughs> and, uh, at our other companies so it's like uh <laughs> no really <laughs> okay they better have real credits on this. They don't. No. What? <laughs> no. And it starts again. <laughs> Where are the credits? The real credits. Come on. Like a big scrolling of like people who did like real work. And I want to see, I want to see Maynard's kids names on the credits saying, yeah, they play Tim. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder if he, I wonder if he gets paid residual <laughs> video game actors, if they get paid residuals or whatever. It's mm, like, well, like I said, there's like, you know, well, certain things that people are really... There's no they, VAG. There's no Video Game Actors Guild. <laughs> well, I don't know. What? I don't know. Yeah, that, that's true. I, I remember, like, people who do voiceover in video games complain about, you know, mm-hmm. that, you know, they don't... Which is weird, considering, like, movie and, mm-hmm. and such. Uh, we'll just kill the sound on this. Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to search for the credits. I want to see if there's actually some scrolling credits mm, in here. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> You would think that. Uh, let's see here. I mean, there was. Besides, there was the, there was something when you pause the game. There is a selection of things you can do. Right. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Yeah. Part, wait, please wait while we load all the. Let me load the silly movie. Um, it's a silly thing. Sound effects on. Oh, we could turn the soundtrack off. I guess. Uh, soundtrack off. Say the magic word. The hell? You didn't say the magic word. Oh, okay. Whenever I turn it on. Okay, that's cute. Um, sound effects on. I spill my drink. So if I quit current game, it's just going to go back to that other one, right? It's like mm-hmm. that is, and it goes that is back. lame that they goes, that they don't basically goes all to the, the people who screen. worked on this besides you know yeah, and then it goes back to the uh, morphing credits. There Thanks to our family and friends, who we will go unnamed because there's no space <laughs> there's on this space CD-ROM. The <laughs> like, well, we have to put credits. No, no, we're already five months late. Get yeah. But yeah, I mean that's now. now so nowadays. anyway, there's yes. Jurassic this is, Park Interactive. This is Jurassic Park. Yes, but yeah, it's like uh, if you write lyrics to a song, mm-hmm. like like that's why Gene Roddenberry wrote lyrics to the Star Trek theme, yep. so that like. Every time that music is used anywhere, he would get a check, no matter because yep. nobody ever sang the lyrics. To that right? Song. No, they were they're totally lame. <laughs> and somebody, I, I remember in some documentary, I think it was, uh, I think it was on the birds. Uh, the guy who wrote the movie mm-hmm. said that there's a nursery rhyme being sung in the thing. It's a traditional kids' nursery rhyme, but yeah. Hitchcock said, "Oh, the scene." goes longer than this and i want the nursery rhyme to cover the entire scene mm-hmm. would you write some additional uh verses uh-huh. to the nursery rhyme? 
So he did. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it's... Now he gets a residual. ASCAP, yeah. Yeah. It's like they get registered with the song. So now anytime anybody performs that nursery rhyme or anytime the movie gets any kind of showing or something, he gets residuals from that, even though he doesn't get residuals from being the writer, or mm -hmm. at least as much. He said he got way yeah. more money Lyricist. from writing those yeah. lyrics for the nursery rhyme than he ever did as like the screenwriter of mm -hmm. the birds, you know, so, <laughs> just because of how strict they are on, on that sort of thing. And, you know, that's the same thing as like, you know, before they did actor residuals mm -hmm. for like things like reruns and right. syndication. Like right. I think in like the late seventies maybe is when they first started doing that. Cause they said like people who worked like the Brady bunch and mm -hmm. shows like before that time and before mm -hmm. all those times you see those shows and rerun never made a dime off it. The only time they get money is like they said, if they use their picture on mm -hmm. like the DVD, yeah, they get money for it. But the DVD itself for that. Nope. So that's why usually that's when you see like when right you there. have DVDs, like compilations, they'll just be like plain titles because they don't yeah. want to pay the actors because they're so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yep, yeah, one of those things. Really? They couldn't literally take a still from the movie as opposed to paint it, that just thing that's painted up there. Maybe Again, it might be because they couldn't use a real Ford Explorer. They had to like paint in uh -huh. a slightly different vehicle or something. It's just like, yeah, logo they could use. Mm -hmm. A little bit of footage, B-roll footage they could use. Uh, but, no actors like this is. They, but, John Williams' music probably cost them probably half their production budget. <laughs> could, could be. Um, but no, it's just, just, I've just remembered something I, I um, tried to bring up earlier, which was about eight months... These casual shots from Stan Winston's workshop. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> um, about eight months before the platform shipped, um, we're, you know, we're still in development, Um we got so the, the, there was a whole bunch of negotiation to get the rights to be able to do Jurassic Park Interactive, and so right. like, and you know, we're the platform that's going to be able to do it because you know, okay. we're the, we're the future. Let's start the advanced game and see if we get Lexi and, and Tim, and then we will. I want to see if we can identify uh -huh. the. Uh, I'm not going to play very well. No, I'm just gonna, no. I just want to get there. Um, but about but about eight months before, um, we were you know we got like called in. It's just like you, you got to check this out, and so we like huddle in RJ's office, and he plays this videotape. And it's a videotape, video like message from Steven Spielberg, saying, "I've seen your, I've seen this, this console that you're working on. I think it's fantastic. I'm really excited about what it's going to be able to do for uh, interactive entertainment, and I'm looking forward to see what you, to see what you do with uh, with uh, with our stuff." Because it was a really short thing; it was like a minute and a half. Um, I have no idea. If the okay, now survives. duplicate that and send it out to Sega <laughs> and to Sony. <something> <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nintendo, just in case they lost that CD-ROM thing, and Philips, and all this. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so that was kind of interesting. I have no idea if the tape survives, um, but uh, see, that'd be something to put on an extra on a disc. If only there was room, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, does this icon look like Hitler? <laughs> He's wearing a green suit. <laughs> Doesn't that look like Why maybe... Why would you think of that? No, look at that. He's got a mustache that looks like a Hitler mustache. It's like you have so few pixels to make an identity. But And look at the hair. Look at his army. Why would I think of that? It looks like Hitler. I'm just saying it looks like Hitler. Let's see what the old security system shows. Yeah, like okay, that. more people. All right, so there is... Hey, Random tech who apparently... Number. If I'm correct, is the only character that's going to return for the new Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movie. Wait, is this Henchman 20? What? Wait. Was it... <laughs> Gennaro. Who cares? Arnold. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're doing this. Who is? Oh, oh, that's, oh that's Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can't you tell? And, there. oh, God, that is totally. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who, who the little girl is, but that is definitely... I'm not going to say his full name, but it's one of the Maynard kids uh -huh. who is now a developer in his own right, a game developer in his own right. So. All right. <laughs> but yeah. That, he's, a, he's a lifer. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice. Yeah. That, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that's less. Yeah, um, come. Could be. Could be. There, yeah. that's, wait, that's Dave Maynard. There he is. Yep, Dave Maynard. That's Dave Maynard. Father of... Father of... Uh, the one on the right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who else? We I got? wonder if they like. I hope at least they took him out for pizza after <laughs> doing this because that's. I mean, it's just, <laughs> okay. Now we're going to move to another place and run around. Now we're going to move to another place and run around five or six times. Now, is it? Are these two the same? 
I. Ooh. And those. Uh, it's hard to I don't know. Yeah. And Nedry. And Nedry. Yeah. I think is also less. Hmm. With hair dye. Hmm. Possibly. Let's see if we can. Uh... Gosh. Wow. Wow. So this is less with gray. Uh huh. I don't. I wonder if they actually did hair dye or if they just did it in Photoshop. They changed the hair color. Probably just did it in Photoshop. Mm. Possible. Hope, hope they hope they realize they could do that in Photoshop <laughs> before they sent for less <laughs> dyes here. Well, this is naturally a blonde. Uh, <laughs> Or at least when, at least when I was when I'm, but uh, yeah. So there you go. So basically, who? That's why I'm now guessing. It's stuck that's in why your I'm. Brain too. That's why I'm guessing they pile. So oh wait, let's see. What, let's see what we get when we do the the kids here. Wait, what's Hammond's the... house. They're at Hammond's house. Okay. Uh -huh. hmm. So what? What's the red square then? Probably the operations. Go, do I want to go to? Do I want to go into? Oh. I don't know. I, I'm Should just it, wondering why. Because when because when you went to the heliport, it was a square, but everything else was a house shaped hmm. icon. So I'm wondering if there's some significance to that. But let's see the little kids running through the fields. No, can't have that. Can't no. have that. No. I want to see if they did any because I, according to, I won't say his name. Mm -hmm. They did take them out and shoot them in in some fields. So mm -hmm. that's probably that's also probably why why. Uh, Dave is there as well because obviously they had to have a shower. Yeah. <laughs> Since he's in it. Oh, great. We're going to get the little kids killed by the Velociraptors. Awesome. No, wait. This was. I didn't get anything for going in here, did I? Yeah, you did. I mean, you got um, a the key, key right? out of this thing, but there was nothing else. Exit. Oh, I basically I need a key to this, right? Is that the. Or did I get the exit key out of doing this? Oh, okay. Did I just back through the door? Yeah, it looks like it. The non-existent but, door? But oh, hi, hi there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was fair. Kids are dead. You feel good now? <laughs> you got two kids killed. <laughs> they wouldn't kill a kid. <laughs> yes, they did. They didn't make it. Yes, that's a nice way of saying. Yes, they, they've been sent to a farm to live and run free. <laughs> see I won't say his name again. <laughs> so, yes I got I had great pleasure killing you on YouTube ah <laughs> uh, well this has been a fun trip down yeah you know yeah. we could I wonder we could <laughs> mm -hmm. I almost wonder I, of course he, he doesn't probably remember much about it but like it's like I we could get him to do one of these podcasts with us sure <laughs> just like we should get John like I said John I realize now Let's move back to the area. And... Oh, John Luke? Yeah. I saw him last night. You did? Or, oh, or he was Friday, at... Friday oh, night. He, he was, was at RJ's Big Do. Oh, did you ask him again about doing... Uh, uh, he, he was... He wandered off before I could ask him. Uh, like I said, I, I need to tell him I, that, I've, that I work I've, a few blocks... I Literally a few blocks from him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Should, yeah. Just meet at some halfway place for lunch uh, one afternoon <laughs> and just say, hey, yeah. There's quite a few good places to eat in the city. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there are. That's a problem. So, well, okay. <laughs> We've gone off the rails. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, it's a let's drown out. Um, <laughs> but but anyway, um, thank you all very kindly for uh, suffering through this f with us here. Uh, not sure what we'll do next time, but I'm sure there will be a next time. Oh, and, yes. And thank you all for joining us. Peace. <laughs>